Hello. For this group presentation, our group includes CJ Drogosh, Brad Gerwin, Danny, B Danny Benuni, and Max Rosenfeld. The argument that will be presented is the effectiveness of our legislative process. Is it good or is it bad? Oftentimes, the legislative process can be long and stre strenuous. While our government appears to be doing mostly effective work, some might think the process takes too much time and effort. While it's true the legislative process can take time in certain situations, there are definitely more positive perspectives to the legislative process than there are negative. Everyone must play their specific role in order to get a law passed. The process is rigorous and extensive because the government wants to ensure that its rights that the right bills are put that the right bills are put through. Federalism divides power in different branches that must be kept in check. Hello. Let's take a look at the actual legislative process. First, they start with an idea, which then leads into the formation of the bill. During discussion meetings, there are public hearings to gather all information and testimony. It is then edited and revised, and there's a final reading and vote. Congress and House of Representatives will justify the bill. They'll put it on their calendar and then go into the second reading. The Committee of the Whole will discuss when they need at least a quorum of 100 people. After the House and Senate vote, there's more extensive work, and finally, they will pass it on to the President of the United States for his final approval or disapproval, leading into the publication of the law. Now let's talk about a couple of the key concepts that we will discuss. First, enumerated powers, which is a list of powers that Congress has in the country according to the Constitution. The United States Congress may exercise the powers that the Constitution grants it. Next, limitation on power. In government, limited power is restricted with reference to governing powers by limitations prescribed in laws and in a constitution as in limited monarchy. A limited government has hard restrictions set on its powers and abilities. These limits have powerful effects on both personal and economic freedom. Next, an amendment. An amendment is a formal or official change made to a law, contract, constitution, or other legal document. An example would be the right to vote has been amended over the years. Finally, checks and balances which can include a filibuster, and checks and balances keeps each other in line, which adds to the longevity of the process. It makes the process longer, but more fair. Now I'm going to hand it over to Brad. Hello. Uh, so we're going to be talking about the two main perspectives on our legislative process. So basically, it's either people think it's either good or it's bad, essentially. So one perspective on our current legislative process is that the yays of the process are significantly greater than the nays. The process is, is extremely organized and efficient. The process utilizes key mindsets that make our government work as well as it does, with checks and balances being the star player in the equation. Checks and balances is the main aspect that makes the process long, but it's very important for producing results that reflect the interests of the majority of citizens rather than a select group. On the contrary, some citizens may argue that the legislative process isn't productive enough and there's more of a downside. In addition, some members of Congress might argue that the process is way too elongated and that they, have, they need to have a better, faster process in order to make laws. It's true that the process takes time, but that doesn't mean it doesn't work. If the process was faster, more mistakes would be made and more opinions would be overlooked, making the process less effective even though it would be faster. Bills and laws would be incomplete products. Checks and balances elongate the process but provide legislators with more effective results because they will most likely be in the best interest of the majority of the citizens because the majority of legislators will be able to have a say in the decision to some, to some degree. Also prevents, it also prevents in any individual of, or party to take complete control. Here's CJ. Adding on to what Max said for the connections you'll make between our examples and our position statement. A long process does not mean a bad process. Things like amendments help bills that would not be effective in their original form. A good idea is often the result of multiple different parties collaborating. That's a main reason why we are doing this speech in a group and not alone. More brains working towards a goal are much better than a few, and each person involved should definitely have a say in the decisions. Now Brad will sum it up. As well, limitations on power and enumerated powers help make a more fair environment as well, which also makes the process longer. Oftentimes legislators have to wait to get something done because their limitations make them. But this is an integral policy to keeping our democracy running smoothly, so it's worth it.